Level up, level up. Never lose, should have had better luck. Trying to see a check, I'm running up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. Level up, level up. Trying to see a check, I'm running up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. Never lose, should have had better luck. I'ma wake him up from a slumber. Money ain't nothing but a thing. And the level ain't nothing but a number. Life ain't nothing but a game. Level up, level up. Never lose, should have had better luck. Trying to see a check, I'ma run it up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. I want Waking up with that he gave me a chance and I'm rolling the dice. I do it all. Living like I'm trying to go for the platinum trophy in life. Who can you call? Really nobody, so you should just follow me on your device. And know if she chilling with me, then it's bound to be chemical X and the sugar and spice. Game in the system, but game is the hobby. I'm probably cocky, but hot as wasabi. I mean, if it's beef, then you know where to find me. My kickers is ready and so is my body. You should be running and telling your posse and what's in the speakers and what's in your potty. And she trying to kick it, but this ain't karate. Just keep that shit down while I'm watching Tsunami. I ain't saying I'm a super nerd, but I told you when we got involved, my idea of a perfect date is a PlayStation and some alcohol. I was role playing on GTA. I'm a good guy, but I got it all. If the world should end, be the first to leave. But the last of us, acting naughty, dog. Level up, level up. Never lose, should have had better luck. Trying to see a check, I'm running it up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. Level up, level up. Trying to see a check, I'm running it up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. Never lose, should have had better luck. I'ma wake him up from a slumber. Money ain't nothing but a thing, and the level ain't nothing but a number. Life ain't nothing but a game. Level up, level up. Never lose, should have had better luck. Tryna see a check, I'ma run it up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. Level up, level up, never lose, should have had better luck. Tryna see a check, I'ma run it up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. Level up, level up, tryna see a check, I'ma run it up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. Never lose, should have had better luck. I'ma wake him up from a slumber. Money ain't nothing but a thing, and the level ain't nothing but a number. Life ain't nothing but a game. Level up, level up, never lose, should have had better luck. Tryna see a check, I'ma run it up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. Waking up with that he gave me a chance and I'm rolling the dice. I do it all. Living like I'm trying to go for the platinum trophy in life. Who can you call? Really nobody, so you should just follow me on your device. And know if she chilling with me, then it's bound to be chemical X and the sugar and spice. Game in the system, but game is the hobby. I'm probably cocky, but hot as wasabi. I mean, if it's beef, then you know where to find me. My kickers is ready and so is my body. You should be running and telling your posse and what's in the speakers and what's in your potty. And she trying to kick it, but this ain't karate. Just keep that shit down while I'm watching Tsunami. I ain't saying I'm a super nerd, but I told you when we got involved. My idea of a perfect date is a PlayStation and some alcohol. I was role playing on GTA. I'm a good guy, but I got it all. If the world should end, be the first to leave. But the last of us, acting naughty, dog. Level up, level up. Never lose, should have had better luck. Trying to see a check, I'ma run it up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. Level up, level up. Trying to see a check, I'ma run it up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. Never lose, should have had better luck. I'ma wake him up from a slumber. Money ain't nothing but a thing, and the level ain't nothing but a number. Life ain't nothing but a game. Level up, level up. Never lose, should have had better luck. Tryna see a check, I'ma run it up. Yeah, I do a lot, still ain't done enough. What's going on, people? Fame and the same here for LV1Gaming.com. And congratulations, you guys leveled up to 286. This is the Double XP Podcast. It is April 10th at 6 p.m. Central Time. If you guys are rocking with it, thank you so much. It is always appreciated. The flames are found. I see you in the chat already. Walking, rock, walking, 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 rock, rocking. Man, I, I'm, I'm struggling with. With English, I, I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, the short feed is up and running too. Cause we're trying to do this new thing, getting the short feed up and running. But flames are, I see you rocking with us, per usual. Thank you so much, my brother, for coming through. Listen, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, more, more interestingly, 
uh, if you guys remember, we had a conversation not too long ago about Stella Blade and its sexiness, that people were anti-sexy. Uh, and now people are anti that because they're mad at the outer, at the, not outer, I'm sorry, Star Wars Outlaws. <laughs> and then Xbox is letting us know, hey, uh, we're going to preserve your games going forwards and backwards and yada, yada, yada. Before we get to all of that, first up, my right hand was man. The floor hugger with the hardest of ours, and I'm loving the new do, sis. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank What's you. going on, sis? 20, you know, 2024, I figured I needed a change, so here we are. I'm, I'm excited to have this conversation again because people keep flip flopping. This brings me back to Assassin's Creed um, Syndicate of Evie being too sexy and not sexy enough. People can't be happy. But I'm here with the family. We all working hard. It's a hard Wednesday. We're already in April already. It feels like we just started this year, and I don't know what to do with it. Next up, we got one of the hardest working women in the biz. Y'all know the stuff she does for Freedom Games and, you know, the creator of Dance for Games. Dance, what's going on, sis? Always happy to be here. I'm sorry I'm not on cam. I prom I'm going to get better about it, guys. I promise. I, can't I have to show my face for everybody else to show in their face. You know what I mean? <laughs> or or make a little character like Dallas did when I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> it's got to be a chicken though. It can't be anything. Yeah, it else. does. It has to be a chicken. Be a, chicken suit. a really adorable chicken. It's a dress. But <laughs> we'll make a cute little chicken. I got you. Now I I see Bordy on, on the on the short stream. This went up to the big stream. So I'm in the chat with the with with, with the crows now. I'm waiting 15 mm. minutes before I say bad words. So shout out to you, Bordy. <laughs> Boy, as you guys know, she's the co-host of Cogs and the Machine. I do the thing every other Tuesday. Make sure you guys check the ladies out. Next up, this man is real. He's a real life person. And when his car came around the corner, I knew he would have some sort of some sort of New York plan. The man have pop smoke blazing. Mike, what's going on, brother? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> what's good? Much love, everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, hey, man, Hi. we doing good. I I mean, it, it was good to finally meet you, my boy. It, it was it was super dope. Oh yeah, it was a pleasure. You just had to be real New York, like you had to be real New York. I mean, yeah. is there any uh, is there any other is there anything else you would have expected? Nah, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> not at all. Anything nah, else would have been a shocker. I don't know. Yeah, what no it would have sucked if it was something else. Yeah. How are but you we had fun uh, enough. Your popcorn bucket. You you still enjoying it? I mean, yeah, yeah, I actually am. I, 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 I'm not even going to sit here and lie. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. Y'all don't understand. He was he was so mad at everybody about the popcorn bucket. And then we just, it was, I, I'm grateful. Thank you, Des. I'm so grateful I got one. Because, geez, I would have been hot. you into buying it. <laughs> well, no, I, was, I wasn't mad. I felt like. I was, it was FOMO. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. It was FOMO. Everybody had one. Yeah. I didn't want to be the one without one. That's what it was. It was FOMO, but it was worth it. I quarreled with Des about this for days. <laughs> okay. I felt like she rope a doped me. But the more, <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I realize, okay, she was right. I appreciate did you, Did y'all notice that the bucket thing take, comes off and the yes. trap closes? Yes. Raw. Yes. Raw. But, but, but why use it that way? I yeah. want I want to turn on the light. I want to see my popcorn illuminated. <laughs> That's how I want to do it. The best I'm, part I'm glad y'all y'all got to protect. Last but not least, from the from the best nap you could possibly get, because when you napping in your thirties, them the best kind of naps. If your emails is popping and your DMs is full, that's because communication director level one trying to get a hold of you, baby. Band J67. Good morning, Chief. <laughs> I, I wish. I, I wish that's what was going on. I really, 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 <laughs> really wish I was coming off a fresh nap because that would be amazing. Um, if you guys don't see the bags under my eyes, uh, that's the last thing that's been happening. Um, but Plenty of gaming. Uh, we got some new writers coming on to the team, and um, things have been things have been going good. You know, 
Hey, with, 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 with the band. And we're doing new stuff here, right? So right <laughs> yes. now, we have two different feeds going up. Right now, we do have the Shorts feed, Gamer Most Evil from India. What up? Shout out to you all the way from India, rocking with us on the Shorts feed. Shout out to you. Yeah. Uh, crow is over there. Now the crow is over on the big feed. Crow, I see you over there. What's happening with you? Stanley's over there. Boardy's over there. Shout out to everyone. Listen, we are monitoring both feeds. Cause we know some people like to be in the shorts feed, some people like to be in the regular feed, right? So we rocking out with both feeds, both chats up. We communicate with both feed, with, with both you guys. But listen, no matter which feed you're on, if you hit that like button, it helps us out a whole bunch. If you share out either feed that you want, it helps us out a whole bunch. Consider becoming a channel member. We got some exclusive videos up to, for, to entertain Baron. you guys. <laughs> the like button is free 99. And I promise you, Baron isn't frozen. Oh, Gamer no. Mode Evil, thank you for the sub, my boy. That is love. I really appreciate it, man. I hope we, we can continue to entertain you. Again, we got lots to talk about, so we're going to jump right into it. Again, like I said at the start of the show, we just had a conversation about Stella Blade, and now people are starting to mix in those conversations with the main character protagonist from Star Wars Outlaws. That not, that's not necessarily a topic. I just want to bring it up. What we said before in the last po- in the last podcast is absolutely the fact that you guys do not know what you want. You want more sexy, you want less sexy, you cool with jiggle figures, you want no jiggle figures, you want the person to look just like the main character, you want something different, y'all don't know what you want. At the end of the day, gamers are way too fickle. I want you guys to absolutely shut up because you don't know what you want. But the main thing Preach. I want to jump to, because other than that, Star Wars Outlaws is getting some hate because of its structure uh uh of this game right so star wars outlaw is set to come out pretty soon and it is a single player game that requires online connectivity right it's 2024 if you buy this game you and you're not you're not connected to no other player you you put that disc in it's not working it's not going to work without an internet connection and i understand mac what you're saying 2024 most of us got internet right i think that's the problem because as as someone who has spectrum, Ooh. man, you just have an issue. Hey, you know how really, hot I would be yeah. if I couldn't play my really into prayers, this game. Prayers for David. Prayers for David. <laughs> prayers for fans. It's, it's one thing to say. It's one thing to say. You know what? I can't get into Hell Divers right now. My internet's down. It is what it is. I'm gonna go play a single player joint, and I can't because this single player joint has to be connected to an online that that is terrible right so let's talk about it uh star wars uh outlaws the standard edition is 70 bucks 70 dollars is the way we know what it is it comes with a few period of bonuses it is what it is right and then they have the gold edition which comes with the base game the pre-order bonus and three days early access along with the season pass and i'm asking you again is this a single player only only game with no online connectivity because we got three <laughs> days early access like we played diablo pass. like i need yeah. to get ahead of people and a season pass for a single player game that's crazy move on ultimate edition base game pre-order bonus three day early access season pass a rogue Info- infiltrator bundle sabak shark bundle digital art book for 130 right mm-hmm. so we, we we getting there or if you say man 130 is a lot you can you can have all of this if you subscribe to ubisoft plus day one 18 dollars a month you get everything included in this game right b i'm gonna start with you number one is price because they think i'm playing video games but go ahead <laughs> uh-uh uh-uh <laughs> These prices is wild, number one. Number two, talk to me about this on, online connectivity for a single-player game. Is that really where we are? I get it's 2024, but is that really where we are in gaming? Um, This isn't the first one to do it, so this isn't a new thing. But this is a problem because, first and foremost, Internet is still not a utility. In the Let's just talk U.S. I can't speak global, but let's just talk U.S. Hell, let's just talk Southern California. There's places in Southern California where you are working with DSL. You are working with, and I'm talking Southern California, your LA's, your San Diego's, like your other places in there. This is what I'm saying. Or this is why people are getting into that whole, what is Elon's thing? Starlink or whatever it's called. Um, People are getting into that because like I got family members who live out in the middle of the desert in the middle of nowhere. Like you, 
internet is still good internet is still not the standard in the u.s so in saying that anytime especially a single player game i'm hoping that this is just an installation thing like to verify this ain't a pirated game like if that's it then i can kind of get behind that like okay get out go to your library which people do go to your local library and whatnot ask to borrow a screen a monitor and connect to the internet upload do what you got to do i'm only laughing because it sounds so crazy that this is a thing that we still have to deal with in 2024 um so in saying all of that as long if it's just an installation thing i can be like eh, okay figure it out a little bit let's work let's work around this but if this is a consistent every time i need to play it's a problem now to the price uh ooh. it's a ubisoft game so let's be real just wait a week and a half and you'll get it at the 40 guy uh and it's not even disrespect this is just You're real right. like You're right. no it's just a historic if you look at every game first off ubisoft was one of the first people uh first devs or uh, publishers to come out and release a new game at low to mid-tier costs like you'll mess around and get a big a full title for 49.99 out of them like so just wait a little bit like i i i stopped buying ubisoft games day one a long time ago um but at least are they giving people like a statue or a blaster or something you're not getting none of that yeah what's for the, the for the one games? yeah you don't is there any physical collection or it's for, all for, digital for the, one, for the 129 the ultimate edition is the base game pre-order bonuses three-day early access season pass a couple of looks like cosmetic bundles and a digital art book. I mean, at least like, okay, I, I bought the collector's edition for Unicorn Overlord. It came with a card game. It came with a bunch of stuff. I mean, I got the collector's edition for Eastward. Like, it, I don't know. I just give us a pamphlet or something. I, feel like I don't know. A collector's pamphlet. Edition, I, have something <laughs> I mean, something. Make me feel yeah. better about my I need situation. something physical. Yes. Like, like, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a, we joke, but I'm serious. I would enjoy a pamphlet. Yeah. <laughs> like, give me a manual, baby. I, give me a something. Pam- a pamphlet, yeah. though. I, I mean, dang, man. Like, it's got to all be digital, and then I got to be connected to the internet to enjoy it. I would be Dang. excited if it was just a pamphlet. I'm not gonna lie to you. I need a little more. I like, said at I, least. I know, at but least. I would I would complain. I'd be like, I paid $129 and all I got was a pamphlet. Like I Where's would Where's the enamel pins? Where's the patches? Give me, yeah, give me a, if Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles can do it. Then what did they they gave headbands for whatever one you got? Oh, there right? was headbands, there was a, yeah. a pen, like it it came in all in a little box. You have these indie games out here that are like doing collector's editions the right way. Like PM Studios yep. did my time at Sandrock. It's a yep. whole box yeah. of goodies. So Wait, like you got I, that? Time out. You what? got that? Yeah. It's, it, she hadn't opened it yet, though. Don't worry. I did not open it. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. I was just a light, I was a light flex for y'all, just so y'all. No, know. we gotta. We gotta talk. Light no, flex. I'm. I'm a yeah, little flustered. Oh, did you yeah, want I'm, that? I'm I can get it for you. Please do. We'll talk later. <laughs> um, but uh, but yes, uh, we're. I, I'm learning to ask for things, folks. Uh, but yes, um, fame. I'm done. I talked. Thirty is crazy for no physical stuff. Yeah, that's Especially yeah, like, like an art book because. If if you guys are going to look at that art book, I will. But that's because that's what we do. But I'm a sucker. Shout out to GDBE Art. I love art books. Yeah, I got my art books. I I I like physical art books, but how often are you going to look at the art? Yeah, see, yeah. No, that's true. That's 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 my profession. I have I get these because I look at this stuff, but not everybody does. But in in keeping digital art, especially if that's your profession, if that's your profession, that's going to be cameras frozen. Got you. <laughs> we never let this that's man good, rest. That's a good one too. Printing our books is not that expensive, <laughs> especially when you're ordering in the millions. It's literally yeah. cents on the dollar. I was yeah. printing. There's no excuse for that. And if you okay, if you are an EA, if you are a subscriber of EA Play through Game Pass, you will notice a lot of the games they just removed it from your library, including digital stuff. They took away Vampire, uh, I think Sexy Brutal, like a bunch of games that they're still on their service. 
but you no longer have access to. Bruh, so. I'm not paying $129 for something I don't actually own. And that's just mm-hmm. how I feel about it. You know? I mean... Like, that's how I kind of feel about Steam games, games. You don't own them. Like, if Steam was to shut yeah. down tomorrow, that's your whole library gone. So I can't yeah. imagine paying that much for a video game. I'll just wait till it comes out on sale. I don't know why everybody's complaining. Like, you me. don't have... I'm going to say this again. Like, you don't have tons of games in your library that you have not finished and not played. Mind your business! Just wait for it to go on sale. I mean, he, he, here's, here's what I'll say. Uh, to me... You know, I'll I'll just probably be the Debbie Downer here, or, or, but <laughs> I mean, this this seems right for the times for me. Uh, I mean, you know, games nowadays are like vacation package deals, man. You know, Damn. that's what it is. Like you go on Expedia, you get your flight, your car, and your hotel. You know, th- that's what it is now. Get the gold edition, the platinum plus silver edition. Uh, I mean, but at least with that, you're having like a full experience. Like I'm driving a nice car. I'm getting a nice hotel. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like it's things that you can take away from it. I feel like with the video, everything being digital. Well, I mean, that's subjective. I mean, you know, you may not get something from it, but somebody else might. So it, it really just boils down to that. But I mean, to me, it's par for the course. I mean, every, every game, every game that comes out now, you know, it's a package deal they're selling you. They're trying to sell you that more than the game itself. So the best way to combat it is just don't buy it. You know, simple as that. They'll get the message. That, no. Just don't buy it. I, I, don't, I don't make a big deal about things like this. I don't make a big deal about, you know, games being, having an, you know, being internet only. I mean, it's just the nature of things now. This is the world that we live in. You know, you know this is just the standard now whether we like it or not it, that's just how i feel about it you know thanks debbie downer the, i'm just saying the best way for me to, the best way for me the best way for me to to, to say f you is to just not give them any money mm-hmm. simple you know complaining about it on twitter just makes you sound Beautiful grumpy something. so i, I listen that's all. to complain about it you know what i mean Let's see, that's that's awesome. 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 Yes. Yeah, Shout out to the short feed. Short feeds out here, out here body in the regular feed. I don't know what's happening, but the short <laughs> feed out here working. I, shout out to both feeds, really. Actually, I don't know is, this Alex sign that, is this a sign that most people are watching us on mobile? Yeah. Probably. That that could short be short feed is whooping the regular feed's ass, right? <laughs> yeah. No, that actually that could be what it is. Much love to y'all. Appreciate you. Much, and you know what? Much love. To- Ubisoft has made it very clear since they've started that they are fine pushing the boundaries of the we talked about it was a couple months ago. Be comfortable not owning your games. Oh yeah, they did say that. I mean they they did say that. Yeah, call me call me an call me an asshole to my face. I I I respect that. Yeah, I mean I respect that all day. Like, damn. (laughs) Y'all like leech and stuff? Welcome. Ubisoft yeah. is here for you. Yeah. So, so on that note, our subscription service is better option. Depends on who you ask. No, I don't. You know what? So. I, I it was it was Alex. It was Alex. As a matter of fact, I was watching the, the, the newest video about this topic from Alex. Right? Shout out to Alex who's in the chat. I'm not bring this up because he's in the chat. Shout he had out a great to the video. homie. It it seems like what they're doing is funneling you into the subscription service. We're telling you, hey, mm-hmm. you can spend 130. Or you can spend because 130 is the ultimate edition, or you can spend $18 a month and get the same thing in 130 edition and all the other games. They're funneling, they're funneling you. Yes, that they, they, yeah. they are pushing this subscription service. I'm just it's saying, we already don't own nothing. the large popcorn thing. They price the medium popcorn close to the large. Cents. So it thinks. Oh, man. Yeah. So games no. are going to basically be like Netflix, where they're on for What's a little price bit. anchoring? And then. And that's already. Yeah, I guess Welcome so. to the future. But then when you down. On game <laughs> pass, you take no, games once it away game pass. Think- you can get you can buy it. You can buy you can, the license. You can buy it on the Microsoft yeah. Store later. Okay. But no, I mean, I'm talking just... about Netflix. Legit, just remove stuff after a while, and you just don't. Well, Amazon, you just asked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just yeah. asked out. Yeah. So I guess that's what's happening. 
They're gonna put it back in the vault like Disney does with shit. I mean, it's it's not exclusive to gaming. Like like even movie serve even the movies has a subscription. Like you go in the AMC oh, yeah. app, you pay yeah, twenty dollars like, a month, yeah. you get popcorn, a drink. You go to two movies, a, go to two movies a month. Like that AMC like, man. Right. It's either, it, it's, it's you, either you get down with the get down movies, or you don't. Though. You can still buy the physical movies if you want to. Yeah, but then that's a whole nother for, cost aside from the subscription that you're already paying for. Oh, I don't shop for the best buy. Yo, really quickly, <laughs> shout out to THX 1138 on the shorts fee who said what Baron said earlier. With Ubisoft, you can wait two months to get it for 90% off. No disrespect, bro. Not even two Not months. months it's it's weeks. Time, man. Thank you for the love. Hey, no, I'm being so serious. Like, I, I've learned a long time ago I use Ubisoft. They're usually my Black Friday purchases, like Yo. Ubisoft games. Those are my annual Black Friday purchases. Like I'll go, you'll pick up whatever they released, you'll get them for two for forty. Like it, and no disrespect, they're great games. I, I've always loved them. My fondest memories have been Ubisoft games, but I don't buy them first day, day one, never. <laughs> like it just. We need to add the uh, the Meek Mill get up sound. Stop! <laughs> Real thing, losing right now. Get up! Hey, that was so. Uh, <laughs> bro. Uh, <laughs> I can't have nice things. <laughs> hey, my 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 overarching message is, man, if you don't like it, don't buy it. And STFU, man, and don't try to, you know be a jerk and ruin it for anybody else that wants to do it i mean it's their money so if you don't like it don't cop it it's really that simple man i don't know why this is controversial man guess what it's 130 dollars. guess who's not buying it this guy no that's it i was really interested in this game i'm not gonna hold you oh i'm, I'm gonna get the game oh i'm, I'm gonna, gonna get the game it. I'm interested I'm in the game yeah, I'm, I'm interested in it but i'll be interested in it in three months too Preach on it. Ain't going hey, you ain't lying. That's all I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hey, and and y'all and, and best believe, best believe, it's gonna be on sale. And uh, sure. I'm gonna get the physical edition. Yeah, it's coming. Games, yeah, games, games nowadays. Games, 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 games. Sorry about that. What? Remember when what you saying, Diablo Hugger? would never be on Game Pass? Bruh. Bro, just, saying, just wait. Talking. It'll come to, it'll come to Game Pass eventually. You, uh -oh, I see it. the OG Play feed games. getting back. <laughs> Shout out like... to Adam Haven and Hustle. He said, oh. "I'm holding it down for the OG feed." They <laughs> fight back. <laughs> Get up! Get up! <laughs> we do gotta add this. <laughs> Get up! Oh. Hey, that was Shout out to the OG feed fighting hard. Source feed kicking y'all ass right now though, but y'all y'all some real ones. Get up. <laughs> real ones. Yeah, I can't even I love how he's pitting them against each other too. This is like... the wildest <laughs> this dude needs to be stopped. All right, Vince I'm McMahon. Like man. That sound is that sound getting added. I don't care if nobody say that's getting added. I gotta get up. I gotta add that, bro. Bro. No diddy. No diddy. Frank no Williams, what's going diddy. on with you, player? No, no diddy. Listen, hey. uh, Dan, I'm gonna I'm gonna swing over to you. You 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 have you have any issues with with the pricing structures and the and mainly the online only for a single player game with uh, Star Wars Outlaws? Um, I've always had an issue with the cost going up, but there not being a physical part to it, and so I just don't buy it. That's that's just how I am. Um, there's certain things I would pay a hundred and. $30 for like a popcorn bucket, but that's something physical that I can take home and use, you know? But uh, yeah, I'm not paying that much for a physical. I got upset with the price for Helldivers, to be honest with Hell you. Helldivers? What? Yep. Hell oh, the digital? The, the digital? The digital? Yeah. Yeah, oh, the, the fact digital? that I got oh, okay. the physical for the same price as y'all. Oh, okay, yeah. Is yeah. How much are they? I think it was 40. I paid like 40 at Walmart. Uh, I, I bought it on PC and got it for, got it for uh, like, 28 29 oh yeah Buying on PC hey and get it for 28 oh never mind i went the 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 normal route <gasps> buy it on steam and yes. i don't know i know listen i was just pushed into playing she it, got money. it so i bought it but i was just like i don't think it's worth the price point for what i for what i paid now if you bought the physical i get it 
But like just the digital, I was just like, no. Nah. Democracy is always worth being spread, sister. So you know, I, I it's, the, it's completely satirical, and we are the bad guys in, the, in all of this. First but off, ooh, it, this sounds it. like heresy. I like and the, the game. church. will like hear of this. Game. I like the game. I like the game. But I also you like it. Like, you want to play it with us? Mm -hmm. When have you asked me to play? When have you? Uh, asked me not too long ago, court? sucker. No, you asked me at PAX, and, and you I was said, busy. You said after after PAX, and you've been playing. Okay, did you remind me? Did you remind me? Black people be lying. Wow, you know what? I'm gonna remember. Hope, hope, hope listen, I I hope, hope, I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember that, I'm gonna remember that when you come to Pax West. I'm gonna remember you called me a liar, and it's all, it's all, yeah. I'm gonna remember. Damn, I love you too, Des. Yeah, you're gonna have smoke <laughs> the minute the event starts. <laughs> all, all your events, all your meetings gonna be canceled. <laughs> yeah. I love you too. She's you gonna know, be like, Have you ever heard an apology? The is closed. <laughs> you ever heard an apology before? This is said apology. Shout out to uh, Yobi on the short feed because, uh, extending his membership to level one gaming channel membership, man, for nine months. My man is leveled up. Yobi's one of the Yobi. best people in the industry. And you see Yobi, Yobi where's yet? Yobi on the short feed. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Dark times. Yobi, <laughs> To circle back, I, I know what Mike was saying about like, this is just, this is the times and this is what's happening now, but I, I can still say I don't like it because I came from a time where it wasn't like this, right? So that's just how I feel. And I feel like everybody's entitled to their opinion and people are going to talk about it because if we didn't talk about it, we wouldn't be on the podcast. So. I mean, I, 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 and in the chat, I agree with Alex. Dig, digital games should be ten dollars cheaper at the minimum. I, I yeah. think Correct. more. Than, I, I Absolutely. Think, I, think, I think more than that, personally. I no think, shipping. I, no packaging. Yeah. No distro. No. Oh, you don't owe anybody other than who you had to uh, that little whatever your percentage is to whatever you cut with the distributor at that time for that moment, wherever you got it, where the GLG, Steam, right. Green but, Man Gaming, but, whatever. Steam keys are neg like negligible. I can't say the word right now, but like- Negligible. You pay, thank you. You don't really pay. And this Ooh, is just coming from the background. You, um, you don't really pay, what? Please keep going. Ooh, Ooh, Ooh. Oh my God. Keep, keep, you, don't really, on. you don't really pay for the Steam keys, which is why you have thousands and thousands and thousands and why key sellers get them and they leak and things like that. So like they really aren't, you're just making money at this point and you're making money off the people who love playing your games. And it's kind of predatory. Like it I mean, should I not cost the same. Yeah, I, I think, you know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that games are really $50, but they jacked up the price to yes. $70 because they need that extra 20 for weed and liquor. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to feel like that. <laughs> the, le the legalization and everywhere the games yeah. are being yeah. de developed. I'm starting You're to right. think that they are here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> where are the, like where that, are the games being developed at? All of a sudden, legalization within the yeah. last two years. Are they out there yeah, buying yeah. weed? What are they buying weed with our extra twenty dollars? <laughs> We're not going to stop crunch, but we will give you extra weed. <laughs> Here's a pizza party. <laughs> that almost seems worth it, though. Not the pizza party. Oh, <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> I, I mean, because I need to know what y'all doing with. I, I need to know what y'all doing with that extra dub. I need to know. Because you ain't you know, raising what's pain. The difference, what's the difference between sixty dollars and seventy dollars, other than ten dollars? Then why not fifty dollars? Somebody got to talk to me. I can think not of is like the rendering cost for some of these games that they're putting out. Because the more that, if you look at the games now, it's more like they're trying to make a movie versus just a game. Right. And it does yeah. cost a lot of money to render those scenes. But that also from like what we've been hearing, that's not trickling down to the developers. And that's that's the main problem. I think if they were like, yo, we're raising the prices because we want to pay our developers more because of the crunch that we're putting them through, because of all of the extra things that we're trying to put into these games, I think people would be less likely to be angry and upset about it. But let's just do let's just be real. Each year since gaming has come out, you have had to expand and buy more and put in more money. And like people have had to. So this is not new. It's not like all of a sudden uh, in the past five years, we've decided that we wanted to up games like that has been a consistent thing that we've tried to do. So if you were able to keep it at fifty dollars for like the past 15 years. 
what made you, why do you have to jump it up to like $70 now? Because it's been a consistent, it's been an exponential growth in what we've been doing, right? It's not all of a sudden like a huge jump. Like we didn't go from 16 bit to like 3D realism. That's true. Nice. And gaming is the most popular form of entertainment on earth. So more people are doing it. So usually when more, like cars didn't get more expensive. Well, now they are, but they got cheaper. Like it, it just things are. It's more. It's easier. It's easily. It's blah 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 accessible. Thank you. Move mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Stop buying weed without money. Yeah. <laughs> Stop buying weed. Don't forget about no. Oh, Stop. Wow, please move on. Negligible. Wow. Wow. Hey. Oh. Oh. That's not oh, what that I is said. Not, I, I, that let not. Go. I didn't Moving even like, get it nobody, out. Nobody, <laughs> nobody said, said that, bro. <laughs> yes, I. Right, we good thing this is live. We're gonna go back. You didn't say negligible. Yeah. I didn't even say it because I couldn't. No, 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 why are you putting I all this boy. on me tonight? No, you didn't. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm on camera in a hot minute, Des. He's like, I'm yeah. missing your face. I'm gonna make everything you, you return in that chicken suit, everything you touch. You go... <laughs> oh my wow. god. He's I on one tonight, huh? I can't. <laughs> I it's because he's hanging out in the short feed. <laughs> Listen, I'm hanging out with the short feed. I can't the source fees are my people. He's trying to be I, entertaining going, today. Yeah, it sounds like I, it's I go, popping over there. Like we right? over here try in the live feed. The, you have the source fees popping. <laughs> okay. I, I I get down. This, listen, I've been going crazy on them shorts lately, man. But listen, we 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 gonna we gonna ski that we gonna ski down along, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Listen, no matter what feed you on, man. If you enjoy the show, if you laugh just a little bit, man, hit that like button. Help us out a whole. But Baron Nimbus, not I see you trying to pick sides. You picking sides. You said my people. Baron and chose his side. I see you're you. messy. <laughs> Can we all just get along? You know, Hell we, have, no. we, we, already have too much, we already have too much animosity with console wars and everything. Now you're trying to put people against each other. They're all here for level one. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. They're all here for level one. Why are you trying to split it up? Shorts fee for life. Wow. Watch a hey, shorts. Listen, next week, if y'all don't show up, he's gonna be like live feed for life. Just <laughs> ignore him. Ignore him. They call him a turncoat. <laughs> Dang. Yo. Oh. <laughs> oh, All right. What's, what 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 you got for us next, man? But listen, what you we, got we, for us next? next? I, I do I, I do want to talk about. Uh, Microsoft uh, and game preservation, right? Because they they did form a new dedicated team. Uh, there's an email from Sarah Bond, uh, and it said we have formed a new team dedicated to game preservation. We're supporting all of us in Xbox and industry itself. We are building on a strong history of delivering backwards compatibility to our players, and we remain committed to bringing four and amazing library of Xbox games for future generations of players to enjoy. We got this statement along with. The next Xbox consoles supposedly being the biggest generational leap in hardware power ever, right? B, I'm gonna swing back to you with the notion of, hey, we're gonna we're gonna make a new console. With Sarah Bond saying, hey, we are dedicating a team to make sure forwards and backwards compatibility is at the heart of what we do. Does this That's give you? Does this give you res? Does this give you make you feel better about Xbox's long term future? Because let's keep it a buck. Many people are saying, hey, this is going to be third party. They're going to be leaving the, they're gonna be leaving the console game. But are these statements by Sarah Bond, <laughs> along with the talking about the generation leap for Xbox, this gives you faith that the Xbox brand is something that you will or want to invest in moving forward. Um, Yes, because for one, I've already heavily invested in it. And I would hate to lose access to the digital stuff that I do own, which is it that much like i don't it's it's not a large majority of my catalog outside of what i access on game pass but with all the stores shutting down the xbox 360 store our store shutting down with uh what was it we you and 
DS, something something else stores shut down. Um, mm-hmm. With these stores shutting down, having a team put in place makes me feel better and it sounds good, but you could just be telling me things to, you know, kick the bucket down the road. Um, game preservation has to be a very, very, it has to be a big part of what's going on. But at the same time, moving forward in the future, is it going to really be something that's possible? I mean, hell, we just seen with Ubisoft that this new upcoming single player game is going to require internet. So what's going to happen when said server is no longer accessible? Are you going to be able to boot up the game? I like how, and how many games are internet is internet required and how do you preserve that if the server is going i don't know i, I, I just of, i kind of wonder if like the internet being required is just something you need to start up the game versus once you're in it and you're playing it so it's yeah, kind of like something but, every time that you so my thing is is that like i think they can preserve the game because i don't think you necessarily have to have internet if you have a standalone build right and anytime you build a game you have a standalone build that's not connected to the internet so at some point they've made that something that needs to happen for the player and the consumer so i definitely think it's it's viable it's not like once the game's off the internet they don't have the build anymore because you don't build the game connected to the internet you build the game in unity it is playable in unity you test it and then you do some kind of whatever to like a verification that they have to log in which i think is really dumb because I feel like once you pay for the game, you should be able to access the game anytime that you want. But I do think that it's possible. I love that they're taking this step to preserve games, because not only for the player who loves playing games, but each game that's made is an art form. And it would be really shitty to just lose those things because you can't log into the internet. Anthem. Yeah. Oh. Avengers. Oh, Avengers. Oh. Yeah. I mean, Man. digital preservation needs to be done. And I think the only company that should be an example to look at is GOG because they just brought back Alpha Protocol and they're very much of a DRM. Which I'm about to go back. Yeah. GOG has done this for several games. They will continue to do it and they stand behind game preservation. And yes, those are older games. So I don't know exactly how the online will work. But it, even if you're just saving the single player component, that's okay until. Like uh, a game that shut down this year, America's Army Proving Ground, which we're not even going to get into the behind scenes of that. It still has private servers running. So if there's people that want to do private servers, you can because that's what that's what GTARP is. It's a private server. It can be done. It's just is Xbox going to commit that much time effort to keeping Black Ops open for the next 30 years? That's a lot of resources. I think if it comes down to that, they should just let people have a standalone build. You know what I mean? Like, just let people, and then take the main story of Avengers, separate it from the multiplayer, sell that. Yeah, and people would buy it. This is this is the, and and that's my number one thing is you know when it comes to game preservation is how you say you're going to do these things, but once again, a lot of these games do require the internet. So how are you going to promise that? Like, I get if you want to dig back and you want to go Xbox 360, Xbox. I get those games. Like, that's awesome. Bring all that stuff forward. Hell, put it in the store and I'll buy it again. Like, I'll buy the Warriors game again. Give me a HD whatever upgrade and you're going to get my money. I, I love that game. Actually, I would love to see a remake of it. Um, that's just me. But when it comes to more modern games, when I'm thinking like the last 10 years, like how do we, you know. Are you thinking about multiplayer games? No, no, no. Because um, I understand uh, with multiplayer games, you need the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess my question is, is what part of the game needs the internet? Is it just when you start up? And then, like that's so. And this is and this is what I'm saying. This is what I don't know. You right. You know what I'm right. saying? Like I don't know that. So are you? I get. Long story short, this is awesome. Let's let me just broad. You know, I was gonna say stroke, but no pause. Um, this is awesome. Game preservation is a very serious thing. Um, I mean, I have my Nintendo 64. I got my Sega. 
I have, you know what I mean? I got my game gear. Like I, I am all about keeping games. This is why I still buy physical. Yeah, I know it's just a license on a disc, but beside the point, I, it, it, it means something to me, right? Mm -hmm. Gives me that the resemblance of my purchase matters. And it's not just a number in, in the computer, even though that's all it is. Mm -hmm. So then putting a team together and then them being Xbox and being Microsoft, this makes me feel confident about what's going on. So, Mike, what do you think about this? You're not going to like what I have to say. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to get this out there now. But this is when you know the state of gaming is so bad that a company like Microsoft or Sony or whoever could tell us the obvious and we'd be excited about it. I mean, yeah. you guys have a game sur subscription service, which is basically a library of games. It would make sense for game preservation to be involved if you expect people to keep paying money every month for their fucking games. Excuse my <laughs> language. It does so, make sense because there's no transparency with these companies. So them telling us something. No, that but, 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 okay, but, but we should never expect that. I don't, I don't I don't think we should ever expect transparency from these companies. I, to me, game preservation just seems obvious. You know, yeah. it just seems obvious to me. What else are you going to do? Make you know, more people, games. You, you, can, like, you, can you don't still necessarily. Games. Yeah, you don't necessarily have to preserve old games like this has happened before. Like because you have so many people pumping out new games, they don't have to do that. I I I I I would disagree. Because I think more and more people are going back and playing games that they missed out on, you know, in certain generations that they weren't necessarily involved in the games they just missed out on because they couldn't buy them, you know, for I think more I'm seeing more and more people playing older games. Yes, there's a lot of people playing newer games, but they're playing newer games as a newer game, but they're also supplementing that with playing older games or games that they missed, you know, well, just old, to old, just to. Oh, I'm so sorry. Just to kind of lean into what you just said, um, the top played games, uh, I don't know if you guys seen the article that went out and there was a whole graph across the board. The average age of the games played are six years, old, six years and older. Like most people are playing older games. Like, yeah, I mean, it still yeah. feels like we're but, in 2019 since COVID. I don't know where these last four I, I, I don't disagree. Down. I don't disagree with that. I just think I, I just think for me, and this is just my opinion and my opinion alone, like when I saw what Sarah Bond said, I was like, so fucking what? <laughs> 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 Makes sense to me. Like, what else are you going to do? You know, I mean, it, it, Game Pass is essentially being, you know, it, it it's it's an archive of games, you know, um, from from Microsoft themselves. Microsoft's game studios themselves and whatever third parties they were able to link deals with. It's 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 an archive. So within that archive, you know, you need to have those games, you know, and those games would be older games. So game preservation is essentially what that is, you know, period. So just but, making that announcement. But you know right, what? You, good looking well, out. You, well, you know what? Maybe this is to kind of like, let's just look at it from the media standpoint, right? Let's look at it from PR and cleaning up the image. You just closed down your most popular consoles store. Xbox 360 was, I mean, from what I understand, the most successful She's console for them. Yeah. yeah. The greatest um, Xbox. It's the that, greatest Xbox. I, let, yeah, I know that was the one for me. So knowing that you within the same month, you're closing down that store, then you announce this. I, well, I think it's a way to kind of shut down the arguments and the debates and what we're doing now. <laughs> well, because the thing is, is that when you, if you look at like some of the games, uh, stores that have been shut down in the past, those games don't come back. Yes. Okay. So that, that is my thing. Like them saying that means that they're going to put in the effort to make sure that you're still able to play those games. And, and to circle Hopefully. back to that article, when we're talking about people playing older games, are we talking about minecraft which has been out forever and people no 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 no, no. yes it. no yeah no, no yes. Oh, okay. and I know yeah you yeah about, but no no but that's uh, what I'm it is talking, six years yeah. and older yes yeah so the, that makes sense to me because those games continuously get updated 
regardless if they're old, right? They continuously get updated. So if they're also bringing that in, that makes sense to me. And also what age group are we talking about? Like what age group is going back and playing these games? I feel like there's too many variables that I don't know. Well, well, let me, I could shut that down real quick. I'll just use my households as an example. My kids play Fortnite and Minecraft. Yes, but that's so not- that falls into and most kids. I th- let me tell you, let me tell you when wait, I wait, knew- before you say that, I'm saying that doesn't go back to playing an older game. That is, yes, it does. Games- no, let me tell you why. Those why are not? games that God, I'm about to say, it. let her finish. Those are, <laughs> thank you. Those are games that are consistently updated with new things. So there's always something new happening in Minecraft. There's always something new happening in Fortnite. When I think of like an older game, I'm thinking of a game that does not get updated anymore. I'm thinking of Alan Wake. I'm thinking of people going back and playing Final Fantasy VII, the original one. That's what I'm thinking about when you say going back and playing old games, not games that are continuously being updated. That That is the difference. Because even if it's an old game, it's continuously being updated with new content which makes it not old anymore so is wow a new game i wouldn't say wow Mm. is a old game wow wow is continuously being updated same with final fantasy there's new content being continuously put in these games that keeps people playing them i I just i just want to be clear i was i wasn't making a reference to live service yeah that's what i thought yeah yeah, yeah, i was asking Yeah. yeah Right. No, I wasn't making a reference to live service. I was just talking about older games in a, in a specific library that you may have may not have been able to play, you know, for whatever gotcha. reason, you know, gotcha. too many, too, too many games to play or you didn't get a chance to buy it because you couldn't um, or you just didn't have you just didn't have that console. And during that generation, because right. you may have been you may have been too young and now you want to go back. You know, it, it, it there are a lot of variables. It, right. it, you know, I don't want to take sense away to me what you're right, saying. I don't, I don't right. I don't want to take away from anything that Same. you're saying, Jess, because both things can be true. Yeah. You know, because these games are old as shit. Right. Look, what you're saying, what what you're saying is, <laughs> what you're saying is not wrong. I just feel like for me, game preservation just seems like the obvious play. So I'm not necessarily blown away by that announcement. It just right. seems very obvious to me. But I get what you're saying. Like, what, like my main example from that was people going back and playing Final Fantasy VII, the original, because they played the new one. So that's what I thought you were talking about. And that's why I wanted to make the clarification. If we're mm-hmm. talking about live service that's continuously being updated, we can't really call that old because it's getting new content. But like, like I, I'll give you an example, like how the I use my... new. Yes. Like how I use my Game Pass and my PS Plus... I literally down I use I literally use both of those services and not mind you this is just me. I go back and I play games I never played before. Yeah. You know. Oh, 100%. And, 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 and that's really that's really the best part of those, that service for me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. So I it's cheaper than going and trying to it's cheaper than going and trying to spend 80 to 100 dollars to buy to find 20, the game. a 15 right. year old game. Like, bro. It, yeah. The Oh, the reseller market has ruined it. Um, just but games are art mediums, and art historically, unless it's popular, does not get preserved. It gets lost, destroyed, and erased from history. We've lost ninety-seven percent of our recorded history, and we can't save everything. And nor does everything deserve to be saved, because a game like Hatred does not deserve to be saved, or that that school shooter one, go away, does not deserve to be preserved. <laughs> But most games, no, that art. was a thing. I wonder. I didn't I know that was a thing how, either. Yeah, it was. I wonder how um, how the whole hundred year thing is going to hit with games. Girl, uh, I'm gone by then. I don't want to be hundred oh, years old. We'll talking probably about be this. in games by that time. We won't be sitting and Full playing dive. them at a computer. We'll be yeah. in them. Yeah. 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 Parents gonna be uh, brain dancing out there. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Oh, my wife already knows. Like she knows, I'm signing up for the first first trip out. Um, but um, crash test dummy all the way. Um, but um, but no, like that's something. I wonder. I really do. Fam, are you back? Yeah. This um, I'm here. You sure? Okay. You what sure? Means- if not, <laughs> yeah, if I'm not, it's like okay. <laughs> Uh, Cause I was getting ready to argue some more. Argue. Oh. 
He wants smoke. He wants problems. Yeah, yeah I want problems. Always. <laughs> um, because you're not going to tell me throwing out new skins makes a game new. Um, Man, absolutely. I didn't say it made it new. I said it doesn't make it old because there's new content what? being put in. If it's not new, then what is it? New content is new. If content. it is not new, new content then what is, is the new game? Content. If okay, it makes it relevant. If that, if you really want to like argue about it, it makes it relevant because relevancy content, does not no. mean old and new. Because that, no, I know no, it no, 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 That's why I said, re- you know what? So I, I'm was, asking no, wait, you, wait, wait, if wait. it I is just, not new, gave, oh my then what god, is it? I just gave you my fucking answer. It makes it if relevant. it's relevant. Okay, Aaron, oh. Hold on, be, let her let her let her finish. Let her finish. Go ahead. No, uh, no, no, ahead, no. don't let me finish because I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. We have two different definitions, and that is the point. If but we were okay. continuously, why do you keep cutting me off? Man, let us let chill, us. son. I love let it get it all. Go, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. If Dad. you are continuously, from a marketing standpoint, if you are continuously putting in new content, that means you are bringing in players because they want a new experience. Mm-hmm. The game is still relevant. It doesn't. Mm-hmm. It's not considered old if you are putting in new content. That is my definition. Okay. Of it, okay. That's we true. can have different definitions without yelling at each other on the podcast. So quietly, I'm gonna ask you. So, a new experience makes an old game new. Yeah. Would you say that the new Final Fantasy VII game is old? No, that's new because it's a new game. But it's a new content of an old Minecraft game, right? Is, is old because the very 1.0. If you look at 1.0 compared it's to this game, different game now. It's not even the same. Minecraft game. is an old game. Okay, so we just have different definitions, and that's where we should yeah. leave it at. No, no, they go look at the release date. I'm Why not are we gonna not lie. Even debate this. I'm not looking at release I, dates. Be it's different. It's, it's it's a it's a great debate, but to, to chime in, I, I look at something like Fortnite. Fortnite is always updated with with brand new stuff, Ooh. new new skins, but it's an old game. It's an old game. That's what I'm saying. What like the, it's an old game. It's again, really okay. It's like at the end of the day, again, it's really okay both, for us to have different opinions. Both, how both, thing, both things can be true, though. Yes, you know? at the same time. Okay, no, and that's both things true. can be true. Yeah, new we got con- new content, new content, going content game. New content very much makes it a new game. You know, it does. Yes, <laughs> it, it does. <laughs> it, 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 hold on. The same game let me finish. Was. I love this. Let, let me ahead, finish. Mike, ahead, Mike. Let me finish. New content makes it a makes it a new game to a certain degree depending on how extensive the new content is because new content can change the gameplay entirely you know entirely so in essence it's not the same game that you played when you first started playing it if if the game is 5 years old and they changed let's say guns and gameplay and how you jump and how you build and this that and a third that's a new game Old platform, new game. It is. Okay. So I understand what both of you are saying. Des is not wrong and neither are you. Both things can be true. You see how easy that is? Give this man this a okay. I, I love Go, about go this get this podcast. man a beer from this the is, fridge. <laughs> as, as we approach 300, this conversation reminds me of the essence of this podcast. It was a debate show. And it's all love here. So I, you see, I sit back. Go. Because we we can have separate opinions, and I think in this situation, two things can be right at the same time. I did put it in a poll, not to be messy, because I want to know what the chat thing. If you believe he said that, not to be messy. <laughs> I know somebody gonna think that about me, bro, because of who I am. So I just wanted to ask because the first poll ended right because I did ask both both feeds, the short feed and the OG feed, did they have faith in Xbox? Uh, the OG feed, 75% said yes, 25% no, obviously. On the short feed, 60, 66% of the people in that, that actually polled said yes, they still have faith in Xbox. I think the so ones they, that are saying no, that's cap. Like, why wouldn't you? It's Microsoft. Why wouldn't you? What, ha- what have they done or not done to to give you give you any impression and i'm a playstation guy and i i mean i have faith in xbox that they're going to be just fine they're going to be putting out games you know they spent a hundred billion dollars and they got a lot of quality shit coming i mean for you to, to not 
acknowledge that is just flat out hating. And we just got to be honest with that. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Xbox will be fine. PlayStation will be fine. You know, there there are there are stages of flux in gaming. You know, I think everybody forgets about Xbox's 2022 as bad as we make fun of PlayStation's 2024. Ooh. Everybody forget, everybody remember that? Yeah. Ooh, it was bad. <laughs> Okay then, bounce. They bounce right back. Twenty twenty three, twenty twenty four may start off slow. Twenty twenty four, the beginning of it may start off slow, but when the award shows come around, everybody remembers what have you done for me lately. So when that Indiana Jones drops and all of that, you know we might be having a different conversation. And everybody's gonna be saying, "Oh yeah, Xbox is the greatest thing ever." So I think, you know, if if you're saying you don't have Xbox, I don't think you ever really did. You know, and, and this is the PlayStation guy talking. Have faith in Xbox. What and... has given you that impression? They spent a hundred billion dollars. They put out a lot of games, whether you like them or not, is a completely subjective thing. But it's <laughs> not like they didn't it's not like they didn't put things on the table. Now, the problems that I think that they have aren't related to the games as much as they have to do with the messaging and the marketing, marketing which sucks. PlayStation is our masters at. Yep. They capitalize on every little thing. And and even if it's a shit device, you still feel like you have to have it. That's the difference. You know what I'm saying? But Xbox has no lack of games. They have plenty of them. You know, it's just how they sell it to you, which is what they're bad at. Very bad. You know? So it's not like it's not like it's not like they, it's, it's not like they're not doing what they said they would do in terms of getting games to you. They're just mm-hmm. bad at selling it to you. Period. Because let's so, be honest, you know, they've got some, for years we were saying, hey, get some JRPs on there. And now they got if, JRPGs if, on there. If Hellblade, if Hellblade was a PlayStation game exclusively, you would, be would, the see, biggest rel- you would see a statue oh. somewhere. You would see people dressed up as Thunderwood. They, 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 the they would have a they would have a theater bar. show. They would have a theater show with all sorts of craziness going on. They would get celebrities in on that. On in on that marketing, that's the difference. Remember, the, they definitely they created had the bar from Last of Us Two to promote. Y'all remember when God of War dropped? They had LeBron and his son and Ben Stiller in the commercial. Yeah. I bet you those three motherfuckers yeah. never played that game at all. At all. What are no. you saying, Hooks? Remember when they to announce Last of Us Two at E3, they made the bar from the game. And had people walk mm-hmm. through. Oh yeah! Like they made a that whole experience that I rem- Xbox I, I rem- struggles. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember 2016 E3. I was there at E3. Xbox had to show at the Galen Center, and PlayStation had to show at a much smaller venue. They had basically where USC plays basketball. It's like 50,000 seats. And and PlayStation, there was probably maybe about 8,000 of us. Nobody talked about what, what happened at the Xbox thing. Everybody was talking about God of War and everything that went on at the PlayStation thing. Because they put on a show. That's what I, if I, that would be the better question. Do you have Xbox faith in Xbox's ability to sell you shit? Nope. That would be a better question. <laughs> a controller, yeah. Go oh, sell me a controller. I got complete faith in that. <laughs> Selling me a they game, go. though, no, no. <laughs> they don't even really tell you what's on Game Pass. And y'all could be article. mad at me. Y'all could be mad at me all y'all want. You know I don't care. I'm just saying that's what it is, though. Yeah, I respect right. you for speaking your piece. What what a show! I love to hear. I love it here. I love the panel. Baron, Mike, Hugger, Dez. You guys are freaking amazing. Shout out to the chat. Both chats, because you guys are freaking awesome. No matter where you watch it, the source feed, the OG feed, you guys are freaking amazing. I appreciate y'all. I am going to end the poll here after we give suggestions. So if you guys want to give your piece or put your vote in on the last topic of the show, you can. We're going to switch over to the part I love the most. Uh, This is very chat interactive, so please drop these in the chat. If you have a video game, an anime, TV show, movie, something dope you've been watching or playing, you think we should be watching or, or we should be playing, same for the chat. Drop them in the chat. I'm going to read those out. B, I'm going to start with you. What you got this week? Um, So your boy is back on wrestling heavy. Hey. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. back. I watched NXT. I watched Next last night. Like, yeah, oh, I'm back. Um, back. did you know Wednesdays like, is like, Speed's Wednesday? Who's the, three minute matches? 
Bro, look, see, I ain't even know that, right? Hey, look, I'm gonna go check it out. I'm sitting here, I got the family, my daughters is out here trying to power bomb each other. Like, bro, it is, it's on, it's (laughs) happening. Wrestling, wasn't it? it? (laughs) Bro, she she was sitting there going, Ooh, ow, ooh, and I'm like, Yes, this is a wrestling home. Uh, our tickets went up for uh, Monday Night Raw. Uh, that's coming out here in September, so I'll be picking those up. Like it, it's bad, bro. Like I, I'm, I'm back. That that WrestleMania weekend was fire. Uh, so yeah, you know, go out, pick your favorite wrestler. You know, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Jada Parker. But mm, you okay. know, I love you, girl. Yep. <laughs> Stanley, hey. Stanley says WrestleMania was fire and raw. It was. Fire. Hindsight with oh, yeah. has been playing point blank on the PS1. He said he's going, he's going with a throwback with it. It's the indie on the source feed. No, right now, Diz, I'm swinging to you, love. What you got for the people to watch and or play for this week? Honestly, all I've been playing is Once Human. I haven't played anything else. <laughs> Who you been and I haven't watched with? anything else. <laughs> I'm not going to say that's what's up on my computer right now, but continue. <laughs> oh, I see no. Discord is snitching. Listen, they Discord just opened up the area, so as soon as we're done, I'm jumping into What's Human. That's all I've been doing. If you can get into the closed beta, please try. They're still giving out like 70,000 keys. Okay. I'm, 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 I may do that. We'll see. We'll see. Cause I, it'll be, well, I ain't get my suggestion yet. Mike, we on to you, my boy. Um, okay, so right now I am finishing up in terms of what I'm watching. Um, I'm finishing up Shogun mm. and uh X Men ninety seven. Um mm. finishing up finishing up that. Um as far as what I am playing, um right now it's Destiny Two. They just put out um some new content. Everybody knows that I'm a big Destiny player. Um, I frequently crap on Halo and compare it to Destiny all the time, <laughs> but it's just all in fun. But that's I'm all in on that right now while they have all this new content out and I, I get up with the gang and play that. And I'm still on Helldivers. And oh, um, Arrowhead, that was some bullshit y'all did. We got rid of all of the bots and y'all brought them back. That was some sucker shit. <laughs> I just want to let that be known. <laughs> I thought that was the goal to liberate the planet. And somehow you found another planet for them to be on. Yeah. Stuck a shit, bro. <laughs> Suck a shit. Can't even be mad. Okay. Hey, ro- robot <laughs> babies. Wow. I hate this guy. Shout out to Don. He's on the source feed. He says, Fallout TV show and play Diablo. Was I'm, I'm assuming you mean Diablo 4. Yeah, that Fallout a TV show is like a 94, 95 on Rotten Tomatoes. I knew it was right going to be crazy good. I knew it. Yeah, we should I haven't, all get into Fallout seventy six since it's multiplayer. It's boring. You know, Ooh, I'm you asking for a lot. Playing it and you there was like two people on it. It was like <laughs> me and the other person. It just the world felt so empty. But I thought like once this show came out, a lot more people would jump in. I'll I'll do it. I'll do it because you asked. Because after all, you rocked me to sleep and made me buy an, <laughs> a popcorn trap box. And, <laughs> Boston, so Des is persuasive hey Mike, as hell. I'll do it if you do it. <laughs> Mike, be, Mike, before I go to Hugger for a suggestion, uh, Stanley chat, Sandy asking the chat, so does that make Destiny new? <laughs> yes. Hey man, I like how he said it with no no smile, no joke. Yes. He said, I'm standing on yes. business. I'm standing Always on stand on business. business. Yes, it does. In both, in both chats to vote. Hugs, I'm going over you, love. What you got for the people to watch and or play for this week? Since it's uh, the 10-year anniversary of the Gold Road, I've been playing nothing but ESO and RP. Uh, ESO, so boring, yet so much uh, hooks into me. I can't stop playing it, nor will I ever stop playing it. And to watch uh, The Beekeeper, it's with Jason Statham, and it's like a good old revenge tale. I don't need no horror. I don't need no nothing. Uh-huh. I just want a good revenge tale of getting revenge. I gotta check that out now. Like. It's good. Real good. Like I, I was a little Jason over Statham. Jason Statham. I might have to go watch that now. Wasn't yes. feeling him for a little while. <laughs> I didn't watch any of the Fast and the Furious, so I never got tired of him. I think I stopped watching it 
Oh God, what was the movies he used oh, to Oh, I do? stopped he watching did, like, after the first one. Yeah. I've only seen the first Fast and Furious. But we really? watch it. Oh. Solid. Yeah. Felicia Richard's in it for like a very small amount of time, but it's, it's still a decent movie. Uh, action up the ass, kind of like um, almost John Wick style. It's violent. Like at certain points, it's violent and I love it. So go watch that. Fame, what do you got for us? Uh, before I say that, I want to let you guys know that uh, Keith and Ida Haven says that Ghostbuster trap uh, bucket is now twenty five dollars. Oh come on, bro! That wasn't necessary. <laughs> you... Come on, bro! Come on, bro! I hate it. I hate it. Right? <laughs> come only on. He, only he would go check. Only Keith would go check just to you tell. You know why? Us. You know why it's probably twenty five dollars out? Because the movie was trash. The movie. Oh gonna, yeah. Nobody's gonna go. Nobody's going to see the, the movie. The movie was yeah. trash. Triz Ash. Okay. My suggestion, really quickly. Uh, three body problem was everything that I, I, said. That's next on my list. That's next and on my list. We. I, I, I want to go read the books now. Uh, oh damn! It's, it's it's fantastic. Go check it out. Um, also. Uh, I finally gave Legend of Korra the respect it deserves and finished the last two books, like watching the show. And I'm telling you right now, Le- uh, Korra is whooping Aang's ass any day of the week. I'm sorry. Uh, the what the the villain she fought, uh, Aang will Aang will get tossed by three out of four. Just being honest. Uh, last but not least, go play MLB the show. Shout out to PlayStation for. Uh, I've been playing that like crazy too. By the way, my Xbox it's, it's so freaking pass. good. I don't know why it's on a PC Game Pass, but it's on Xbox Game Pass, so I'll play it every year annually. I'll, I'll binge it for like six months, and I'll drop it until the next one comes, so I'm binging it right now. But listen, it's been a hell of a show. Uh, I'm about to stop the poll right now on both. Short feed, 71% say no. Uh, on the big feed, 50, 57% say no. That new content don't make old game, new game. Baron, get that smile off your face for this. Smack the shit at you. Listen. Oh, the, no, this is that, no wait, wait, wait. Before we end it, you can have a respectful, like, disagreement. The part that I hate yeah. is Baron doesn't know how to just be like, yeah, okay, that's what you think. He just keeps mm-hmm. fucking going. And that's uh-huh. the thing that kills me. <laughs> like a brother. Yeah, just yeah. Like, like a brother. Shot at you. Hold yeah. that. Like, yeah. shut up. Yeah. Y'all got be related. I'll be quiet. I'm sorry. I'll just let the, yeah. the masses Y'all speak. Like, let I'll let see. the masses speak. Shut the fuck up. Let's end the show. <laughs> let me see. What we got in check? I'm so annoying. The night that game has ruined the game industry. The last time. Guys is such a sweetheart, y'all. I want you to know that. I, I <laughs> usually <laughs> am, but he brings out the hater in me. Standing up for MLB right now. Yeah, I mean, I need all, all y'all in MLB. Listen, if you guys enjoyed the show, if you laughed, if you enjoyed the debate, it's free 99 to hit that like button. That helps us out a whole bunch, all right? Share the stream out. Let people know that you came, you watched, you enjoyed. We do have a website, lv1gaming.com. We have articles going up daily, news, reviews, original pieces you guys should check out. If you really enjoyed the content and you want to support us, please consider becoming a channel member. We have a couple of different tiers here. If you want to support us, we got exclusive content that comes out that you guys can rock with. Well, all that said... Congratulations, you guys leveled up to 286. This was Double XP Podcast for Baron, Hugger, Dez, and Mike. I am Fame Entertainment 2K from LB1 Gaming. Can I say one more thing? Can I can I say one more thing? Whoever's in that old that other chat over there, don't try to come back on this side. Uh, Uh, I just want to put that out there. Uh, Don't try to come back on our block. All right. That's all I'm saying. You take that how you want to take that. We catch y'all next week, man. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>